does seem very fun and uh, have a lot of, you know, fun combos and stuff to him. If he's better, I'm sure, or if the community determines that he's better or has uh, matchups that maybe he does better in, I'm sure we'll see this character uh, come out from those players as well. So, we still have both players setting up their controls here, but we're going to be getting into it pretty soon. It looks like we have Dregs and Metal Riff. Dregs, of course, with the killer mustache and beard. Uh, if I'm Metal Riff right now, I am already feeling a little stressed out. Like, my opponent clearly came prepared for stream just to show it off, just to, just to flex. Um, and uh, maybe I haven't done that level of preparation. But maybe not. It looks like he's going Captain Falcon here uh, versus Harry. And it looks like we have Z Fly joining us. What's up, Z Fly? How's it going? How's it going? Just came to get a front row seat to our, our you know, my long lost brother, Metal Rib Six. You know, he's a, also a little Mac Main. Oh, who, yeah. Uh, coming back because of Terry. He's coming back to Smash because of Terra? Yeah, well, he, he had taken a long hiatus, but yes. You know, we were both very excited about Terry. He was here to try him out. You see, performing very well. He's even good at uh, edge guarding of the neutral B, the aerial neutral B. You know, if you hold it down, uh, it does send out a bit of a wave, um, which can be difficult for some, some of the cast to really deal with. Yeah, and I, in the air, it, it kind of stuffs your opponents out. Uh, I saw him try to use that to edge guard uh, out Dregs here. So you've gone on stream, one with this character. So as far as it goes, you know, maybe this will change pretty quickly, but you have the best record with this character. <laughs> well, we'll so see how you are an authority lasts. on this character. What do, you, <laughs> what do you have to say about this character? Z1? This character's fun. Like... Being able to push buttons and then push more buttons is a lot of fun. The, his two special moves after 100% um, can be difficult to hit if you don't convert. Um, but even like landing that conversion, no one's just going to hold shield and let you break their shield. So they're, you know, they're moving around. It can be difficult to hit. Yeah, something I've noticed uh, from playing against this character a little bit is uh, his ledge trap options get a little better once he has that. What is it called once he gets to 100? Just okay or, or what? Uh, it has a move. I don't remember. I have to look it up. <laughs> but you can cover jump and uh, neutral get up both with uh, the first one, the explosion that he does. Oh, really? Just the geyser? Yeah, the geyser will cover jump. Wow. I mean, that thing hits pretty hard. So if you can hit the ledge, you're pretty much lights out. Okay, but good use of command drag. Greg's making it back to stage. Yeah, I definitely feel like... Uh, oh. oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, Terry, um, very fun, but his recovery is not very good. Uh, none of his moves actually uh, clip the ledge. So he'll never get, like, magnet hands or anything. Oh, yeah. I mean, he has a lot of options, so he's sort of like Wolf in that sense, but he doesn't... Uh, like, because he's got the side beat, he's got the down B. Those will all kind of mix up a little bit, but they're definitely not as good, and you can't snap the ledge, like you said. Right. It's it's nice that you can use, like, a side B or a back B. That's pretty cool that he has a back B. Um, to just gain some distance or maybe even stop his momentum from being launched. But at the same time, you have to be really careful about the, the true inputs. Because you have to be aware of which direction you're facing. Otherwise, like if you're facing towards the blast zone and you do like the direct, the true input for the the, the kick, you may actually just you know put yourself further away from the stage. But if you do like the simple inputs, then you'll always go in the correct direction. Oh, I see. Okay. So you just have to be careful, like about knowing which way you're facing when you recover, if you want to use the true inputs. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, nice. Going to uh, Terry stage here. Of course, the battlefield form. We're uh, a little questionable on the legality of Terry stage. I think it'll be a, a fun side event, to be honest. Like, if you, think, if you just think like King of Fighters mode or like Terry mode, or even if we put the the squad strikes here, because <laughs> then it would be like closer to King of Fighters. Yeah, that would, that be, would cool. be fun. That would be really cool. I really hope 
it feels like we just throw away a lot of stages and we make uh, those decisions quickly. Even if this doesn't become like a permanent legal stage, I hope that it, we do see it in some side effects, uh, side events, because I really think it's an interesting and creative stage. I mean, even just doing like stamina mode on this stage would be cool. Because then it's like, you know, traditional fighter mode or something. I don't know. Somebody will come up with some crazy names with that. But as you can see, Metal Rip already hit, you know, blinking red with the go. Let's see if he can land any of the geyser or the. The, the side, the uh, two side, the big one. Oh, nice reverse there on the uppy, but. Oh, oh we landed the geyser! That, that geyser has a ridiculous upward hitbox. You can cover uh, so much space with it and just snipe your opponent out of the air. Yeah, and the thing about that that big dash that comes with the, you know, his power up, when he's in this mode, you can really fish for landings, and it, since he dashes so far, you know, you may feel like you're safe, but you're actually not. You gotta be completely aware and actually look for the windup of uh, the big side B. I think that's just definitely gonna be like a day one thing that people are gonna get killed by a lot. They'll get a little better at avoiding it, but it does seem pretty strong. Another dash attack there. I love there. this dash attack. It's really heavy too. That's another thing about this character. I mean, he lived uh, there till 100 and 109 against Captain Falcon. Yeah. You know, with a weight of 108, you know, he's got a good amount of weight in those pockets. The muscle weighs, weighs a lot, so, you know, and this, this is pretty ripped. But dash attack dash actually attack. kills. That's you know, I saw Sakurai land that dash attack during the, the video.